What's going on guys, Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and today we're taking a look at a new gaming mouse. This one comes from Asus's Republic of Gamers line. It's called the Gladius, so let's go ahead and take a look. The Gladius comes in a very nice retail box. Of course, we know Asus for great retail packaging um, and this is no exception here. So on the front, um, it lists some of the main features and it has a picture of the mouse, but it actually opens up sort of like a book. And there's even more information about it and you can actually take a look at the mouse before you go ahead and buy it. And then um, on the back, it actually gives you a full rundown of all of the specifications of the mouse and all of that looks really great. But I know you guys just want me to open this. So let's go ahead and do that and see what we have inside. And as we open it up, looks like that is everything that is inside. Um, first thing we have, we have a couple things in this bag, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it. I'm gonna try to get it open at least. Get everything out of here. So we have our quick start guide. We'll show you how to get the mouse set up and all of that. We have two Asus Republic of Gamer stickers. So you can throw those on your case. You can throw these pretty much on anything you want, really. Um, one is in the typical color and then one is silver right there. We have some mouse feet. So we have four different mouse feet. I like that these aren't actually put on the mouse um, because a lot of, some people don't actually like these or might not want them. Um, so they have these for you and we have something really cool. We actually have two extra Omron switches. And the reason you have these is that this mouse actually has what's called the ROG socket in it. And what that allows you to do is actually switch out your uh, mouse switches, which is pretty cool. So if you, for some reason, a mouse switch dies or you wanna change your different switches, you can go ahead and do that. And the, um, it supports Omron switches. So it supports the D2F and D2FC switches. So you do have two extra. Um, I've never known somebody to have their mouse switches break, but in the case that you do, you do have two extra, which is actually pretty cool. Um, and then we have a couple more things. We have a little carrying case here, nice little ROG carrying case. And I love this because of course, this is a gaming product. This is something I'm gonna take to a LAN party with me. So I do have the carrying case. And then we have two cables here. Um, one is a longer braided cable. Um, and of course this is gonna be connect to your, use it to connect to your PC. We have gold plating on each side and it's very hard to see. I know you guys probably can't see in the video, but actually on each side of the connector we have a Republic of Gamers logo. So nice little attention to detail there. It looks actually pretty cool. And there's actually a logo on the smaller connector as well. And then we have a second connector here and this just is the typical plastic connector. Um, not exactly sure why they included two. Um, of course, I would go with the braided cable, of course, because with the braided cable, it's not gonna tear or rip or anything like that. But this cable is pretty much the same, but it's not braided, um, gold plated connectors on each end again. And then we get to actually take a look at the mouse. And the mouse um, is a very nice mouse. I'm, I'm feeling it, I like the way it feels already. Um, it is a more simplified mouse, so you don't have a ton of buttons all over the place. I would call this a more of a purist mouse um, because this is gonna be mainly for maybe MOBA, FPS type games. Um, all around gamers would like this as well. Again, you don't have an abundance of extra buttons or anything like that. So we'll go over the buttons first. Um, it has this nice, it's kind of hard to see and it might be a little bit harder to see in the video, but it's not actually black. It has this sort of like steel kind of color or metallic kind of color. It looks actually pretty cool. But we do have our two buttons here. Um, you So you have left and right buttons. Um, one thing that's actually cool about the design of these, if you can kind of see here, is that they're not the same button. They're actually two distinctly, two distinctively different buttons. Um, and I really like that, you know, because obviously our two fingers are not the same. And we, you know, you're gonna want a different feel on each button. So you do have that. And Asus actually touts this as an all around gaming mouse for any type of um, style that you play as far as the, the type of style or how you actually hold the mouse. It's supposed to work with every one, um, which is actually pretty cool. So 
Back to the mouse. In the uh, center here, we do have our scroll wheel, and it does have rubber on it, which I always like to see. It keeps it keeps your finger on there, gives you some nice comfort as well and good grip. And then we have a button here, which I believe is your change DPI or DPI on the fly button. Um, so you have all of that. And then on this side, we have two more buttons right here. We have, you know, usually your back and forward or quick weapon switch or however you want to do it. You have those two buttons as well. And on each side of the mouse, so on this side, and on this side, you have this nice rubber grip, and it's gonna give you a good feel on the mouse, a good hold on the mouse as well, um, you know, as you're playing and everything like that. So you have the rubber on there. On the front, you actually have that little port there, that is your micro USB port, where you can go ahead and plug one of these in, and I'll show you how easy it is to do if we just make sure our connection is correct. See, snaps in just like that, and you can easily get to gaming, and of course, um, looks like, wait a second, there you go. There's a little button on the bottom, which I guess I should show you guys the bottom of the mouse that actually releases that. So you have, take a look at the bottom. You actually have your little mouse skates right here on the bottom or mouse feet. Um, again, you do get actually four more if you want. Um, and then you have that little lock release button right there as well. So that's actually going to release that cable. And then we have our sensor, and this is actually an optical sensor, and it's a pretty beefy sensor as well. So it's a 6400 DPI, um, 50G acceleration, 200 IPS, and a 1.5 millimeter liftoff. And it's actually the world's first um, 200 hertz USB pulling rate as well. So again, a lot in this mouse, a lot more than meets the eye, because again, it just looks like your basic gaming mouse, but there is a lot of technologies, a lot of cool stuff in here. Um, I'm really excited to test it out and play some games and see how well it feels. Obviously see how good the sensor is and all of that. But for, actually, this is actually the first ROG gaming product as far as not a motherboard or a video card that I've seen. And it looks like they're not, you know, a lot of these companies come out and they rebrand their pro you know, they rebrand like an OEM or something just to have a gaming line. It looks like they put a lot of cool stuff in this mouse. This is the first mouse that I've seen that has the, where you can actually go in and change out the switches yourself. They make it easy for the user to do that. Of course, you have the Omron switches in there already, which are rated for 20 million clicks. Um, all of this cool stuff, and of course, Asus has great software to customize the mouse and change the colors and do different things like that as well. So make sure you check back very soon on thinkcomputers.org as we will have our full written review of this mouse. And remember guys, if you do enjoy our videos, it would be great if you could subscribe. Catch you guys later.